Welcome back to Souk Business Landscape. I'm Ikenna Mba. And to help me shed light on those um, interesting headlines from across the world is Dr. Idaosa Osamanze. Doc, welcome to the show. You are looking like the sun. Right. Good, good Nigeria. <laughs> good Nigeria. Is there a celebration going on somewhere that you could invite us to? Yeah, this is Lagos. Is that, is that what it's called? Fridays are for parties. Right. And with me, as usual, another anti usualist analyst. His name is none other than Chooks John Rogers. Good morning, Lagos. Good morning, Nigeria. And uh, you can now good morning. I like, I like your, your horror movie brows. What is it? <laughs> A lot of it's, people have been lying in turn. Especially the women. Yeah. You know, many times they don't have it, so they scrape it and yes. use the pencil to draw a yeah. cartoon more. Oh, my God. So they don't like him when they see him. <laughs> okay, let's, let's, let's focus on the, on the headlines. And focus, we will. Business Day, Tinubu ends Seplat ExxonMobil in Parsi after high-level visits. So now all this is making all majors begin to downsize and move to smaller offices. Are they downsizing and moving to smaller offices? Yes. That, Are you that's sure? what this is causing. That's what they said. Who said? Well, we want to say well, um, it's been one year of um, Tinubu's administration. We are not holding forth for him. But for this particular one, congratulations. If it happened two days after um, his one year, congratulations. It's been two years that this issue has been on. Uh, Exxon Mobil wants to diversify. They are selling off the business. And NMPC and Seplat have had this issue of they've not been able to resolve among themselves. And it's, it has cost Nigeria over $34 billion in two years. Hmm. So I like that kind of directive. This is what we want to see. Stand and take decisions. So could this downsize in... Make, no, they want, yeah, to look, I, I, they want to make it look like I, that. I think so it, it's the, it's the uh, diplomacy part of it that Chooks is speaking to. Uh, you know, uh, this uh, move... Chooks is uh, never diplomatic. No, so no, no. It's, 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 it feels it's, it's, a, <laughs> it's the diplomacy uh, uh, tact of the president that Chooks is speaking to. If you have had this problem long time ago, that, of course, uh, like every other IOCs, they are all moving and trying to renegotiate their way into the business world. Yes. Uh, and that's, of course, for me, it's natural because everybody is looking at tomorrow. We are facing the future. And you try to move out your money. And, of course, how do we reach agreement? Who gets what? And these uh, divestment that they're doing, the local companies, their plus should benefit. Yeah. But here, this has been dragging on for over two years. And we cannot reach just common agreement. But you see, this is, you're supposed to have your person everywhere. Tenobu, the former accountant and treasurer of Faisal Mobi, Nigeria, uh, of course, had to wait in as now, uh, not as a staff, but as the president of Nigeria, I said the interest of Nigeria is at stake. At stake here. Yeah. And that is what it is. So let's see how uh, we resolve this issue. So finally, uh, the end is in sight. It's, it's uh, not can, just inside, it's been resolved. So the agreement has been signed. We're, we are seeing that a separate uh, NLPC joint venture holds now with uh, uh, 70 to 30 percent, I guess. And that, of course, uh, is also a plus to Nigeria. You can imagine that we can begin. I would be to, happy if NLPC is holding far, far less. Uh, well, you see, uh, what, what uh, the uh, uh, LNG model has done for us as a nation. And if we can replicate it at this other end, and I think it will just be a, a massive uh, uh, thing for us. And don't also forget that what's the, what's the model. Uh, the model is the fact that you see, LNG is run not like a Nigerian company; it's run like a business. And over the past uh, how many years they've been delivering, and they're actually pumping money out, and Nigeria is receiving dividends from LNG. And it's huge. And that's because there's no so much of a government bureaucracy inside of it. So if you model um, this crude production also along that line, of course, Nigeria will stand to benefit in the longer run. And I think that is for me. It's also good that uh, we're having a, a local people playing in that sector now. Seplat, uh, congratulations for this breakthrough. And we do hope that many more Nigerian companies uh, will get into this uh, foray and make money for us. So you agree it's a good thing? 
Yes, it's, it's, it's definitely it's, a good thing. It is. Definitely. All right, well, to the next headline. We will exercise caution in amending CBN Act, says Sani Musa. That's one of the lawmakers. So last um, on the last edition, we talked about this um, CBN Act that the lawmakers are trying to wade into and pull some strings on, on should I say, unfettered or undeserving. So they're saying that we're still doing this, though, but we're, still, we're going to be cautious. Yes, it, it's... Think? Well, the last time we spoke about this, um, Doc talked about it in Toto, as in he broke it down on all sides. So if you're not part of this particular program on that day, sorry. So it's, he has said it as it is. For Yes, CBN is an autonomous um, organization, an agency, and CBN should function as one. But first, CBN is there for the people. The people are not there for CBN. So we don't want to see what happened in the last administration from the last CBN governor happened again. So that being said, the people whose job is oversight function should stand and do that oversight function mm. without looking at anybody. But CBN should be able to operate autonomous. But we don't want to see a repeat of what happened mm. the last time. Yeah, yeah, but I think it's just uh, uh, it leads you to be very careful that uh, we're not trying to solve a problem and create another problem. The fact that you have an inefficient person in a position does not make you to reconfigure that position because when the efficient person comes, uh, it will make it difficult to operate sure. and things like that. And I, and I think um, uh, what uh, the committee of the, uh, the banking committee of the Senate need to do really is to see that uh, there's this uh, frequent meeting between CBN and themselves to explain some certain things. And then, of course, even if there's a need, to make an amendment to an act, it must not have to originate from them, maybe because somebody is complaining. It has to be what they sit with the executive arm of government to say, what are the problems, what are the constraints, and uh, how do we deal with this issue? So we can look out for a more uh, proactive and pragmatic uh, solution to the problem, rather than creating too many of regulations and rules really that is even creating a lot of confusion in terms of implementation of certain things. We see this duplication of effort trying to say, okay, we want to amend this and create problem here, you made this create problem here. But we have to look holistically at the legal framework of the all the extant laws, which are the one we need to repeal, which are the one that needs to stand. I think uh, this overdue for us as uh, a country. Uh, every effort to review our constitution has uh, not be very fruitful, and I think they should not take it piecemeal. They should look at the entire document in whole and then see if there's an aspect of it to be expunged, then of course you can take it away. But it should not rub off on um, the overall performance of the regulators of the monetary policy. Right, but they, they, must, they must all tread with caution. On to the next headline, um, rather the next paper, Business Daily. We're looking at East Africa here, Kenya. Windfall for depositors as interest rates hit 24-year high. 24 is a long time. So banks of, you know, um, handsome returns to retain their deposits. Is it up to 50%? Or is it not up to, like, 75%? Okay. So congratulations to Kenya. Congratulations <laughs> because in Kenya. And, um, Why am I have... suspecting you with that? Those are set of questions. Well, they are just trying to tell you, hey, bring your money to the bank. This says that it's very obvious that the people there... <laughs> no, Chooks, I, 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 I think what is happening here is that over a very long period of time in Africa, this thing has been on the very high rise. Interest rate. It, yeah, yeah, for interest, interest rate, not for borrowers, interest rate for, for depositors. depositors. You see, you go to the bank, you want to borrow money. They tell you the basis is 24%. In Nigeria, right? No, yes, uh, like here. 26, 20. 20, 24%. Now, 20, uh, no, even at that 24%, by the time you put 3%, put 1%, put uh, 0.5%, everything is cumulatively getting to almost 28 or 32% as it were to borrow. But then you put your money in the bank. That's it. Nobody give you ten percent. How? Which is uh, uh, something that I cannot wrap my head around. 
So KS have been keeping their money in the mattress. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, but I think with a uh, very good uh, interest rate, of course, that also will uh, help uh, savings and investment. And now give the banks more yeah. money to also borrow. Yeah. To also you lend. see, it, 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 people really do not understand the kind of challenge that we face as a people. Where you see that you put money on uh, fixed deposit in one year, you put 10 million in fixed deposit, you can't get 12,000 in one year. And at the end of the day, uh, if you go and borrow, <laughs> you are paying <laughs> uh, use of. So what do people do? People find different means of moving their money away from the bank. Away from the bank and away from the system. So that's why a lot of people came to embrace the crypto. Yes. Yes. Um, let's, let's, let's stay on, you know? on the headline. And, and of course, people also were uh, hedging their fund in, in dollar and pound because it makes better return True. than putting it in the, in the bank. The and bank. it's uh, difficult for the bankers to actually regulate uh, what money that is in circulation. So these are some of policies that I think are, are good for the economy, that if you can encourage people that if I put my money down there, if I put in my money on the bank, at least I can get 10%, 15% as interest if the bank is trading with it, then people will want to save. And on that issue is that issue of devaluation. You put a hundred, you put... Like, I'm just borrowing your words. You put 10 million. I didn't put. You put 10 million in the bank. And after I put six, four, five months down the line, I receive it. The value has dropped by 30% because of the devaluation. So you now talked about hedging. Yeah. This is another issue that's causing trouble yeah. in Nigeria yeah. because everybody is looking for a dollar to exchange and keep in the house yeah. or keep somewhere. Somewhere. Uh, which you are not using. It makes more sense than just leaving the money there and then it's losing its value. Yes. Because you down. save and it doesn't really produce any value. So I think these are issues for me really that we need to deal with banks and see how can the banks in Nigeria really do commercial banking where people put in money. Mali. And then, of course, they can see interest come upon the money. So all that Nigerians say from their account, whether it's saving or whether it is uh, current, is all deductions. All true. Nothing is added. And, and, and that is not an eco-friendly environment for saving and investment. So what you see is that if you put money, even those who are any money get into the bank, uh, you don't see people leave their cash in the bank. They are looking for a way to go and uh, you, if salaries are paid into the bank tomorrow, next tomorrow they pull it out completely. So even the bank cannot have a hold on the money that is uh, in the circulation because of some of these uh, uh, policies. I think uh, all uh, commercial banks in Africa should be encouraged to uh, do business with people's funds and let people have return. Yes. Some people can just sleep in their house and then, of course, at the end of... Uh, the month or the quarter, depending on what it is, at least something comes into the account. And that's uh, a kind of incentive for more saving and investment. But why is it different in Africa? Because it's, diff it's, it's normal across the board elsewhere. It's your money that's being used for these businesses. Yeah, but, but you're see, not getting profits, yeah, yeah. no uh, amount of it. I, I think it is because, like somebody has said, uh, so I, I keep referring to that uh, so I said that Africans are trying so much to impress the, the West, and that's why we do some of the things we do. Because if you look at it, the rate, uh, lending rates, the gap between the lending rate mm. and uh, the saving rates is not too far in Europe. Mm -hmm. So, and I think we can also replicate that for our economy to make progress. So, if well, we are lending. Yeah, the, the gap between the lending rate and the oh, saving so rate are, are enemies. Yeah, they don't see eye to eye. Upper, yeah. They're like two train tracks. <laughs> <laughs> Still on Business Daily in Kenya, India topple UAE as Kenya's second largest source market. Mm. What's, what's Kenya really known for when we talk about sourcing? Tea, agriculture, flowers, some solid minerals, mm. some good heads, IT too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So India topples UAE. So it's a fight. Yeah, yeah, but you see, it's, uh, it's also to look at it from... Yeah, the... 
I think uh, for me, you uh, go at a certain point mm -hmm. in dealing with most African country, and I think those are part of the issues. They came late uh, to the party. No, to really, the it's party. really coming late. You know, at a certain point, and I think that was in 2023 or 2022, uh, about 21 African nations well, were barred from entering into UAE, and so people started to look out for alternative, uh, alternative market because we are not the only market in the world. So this so, of the ripple effect. So this could be the ripple effect of those kind of uh, very obnoxious policy. Mm -hmm. Yes, if you have, uh, like somebody has said, if you want a safe and secure environment, then you have to take your immigration rule very seriously. You cannot relax your rule excessively and expect that people will not uh, breach, and, uh, breach the rules and things like that. So now you cannot now impose a flat ban on everybody and say you can't come into our country because some people have not behaved well all that. So if people are not behaving well, take care of people who are not behaving well. And then put some more stringent measures to do a lot of profiling of people who come into the country and be sure that those who are coming into your country, they have a reason to come and there's a business that they want to do. And that is far better than the blanket uh, on kind every, of on uh, ban that they place on about 21 African countries at that time. And I think we, and Sri Lanka also. So these are some of the things that uh, could be responsible for this kind of um, thing we are seeing. Uh, people are looking for other markets. If you say I cannot do business with you, you can also stop me from doing with uh, other people. Choose, and it can even be more much profitable for for, for you, uh, Kenya than uh, India. Well done, just... well done, India. Still on um, Business Daily, Kenya power barred from disconnecting clients over bills. You know, so this happens as consumers are forced to pay reconnection fee, even after their problems have been resolved. Sounds like Nigeria. You say they are forced to pay recognition fee. Okay, for those that even are... Even after they have resolved the problem. Of course, yes. Because you cut it. Oh, you put it back. Mm -hmm. but they now, say no. For those pay that... Pay X amount. For, for those that are wondering... And are telling them, don't do this anymore. That's, that's great. They are told not to cut, not even not to... That's what I'm saying now. Don't do it for, anymore. For those that are wondering, we happen to be... Nigerians and this is like normal, and I don't think it should be normal really. Uh, like, and, and this is like, and this is um, it's, like, it's, it's 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 unfortunate. It is that um, it is uh, people are not uh, thinking straight in this part of the world. These things we don't need to be carrying ladder up about to cut light on discordant people. Well, they need to talk about it. Yeah, you but that? this is where the technology is there, and this is what is everywhere in Europe. Technology to shut down. Yes. But if, not for if, you, if you pay, yesterday my son called me and said that there's no light in the house, and I said, you have to wait until I come back. So what happened? The, once your, when, once your, your because car you have a meter is done, meter. for those that don't have prepaid meter. So why can't we? Now, this, is the, this has been my real biggest worry. All my life, citizens pay their money to buy meter and pay it to the electricity company. Two months, three months, Not four months, they can't get the meter. No, but it says so that this is it's more beneficial with the. The other way around. Yeah, yeah, because of when this uh, kind of uh, rent seeking that come with. Uh, this uh, uh, postpaid, yes, three meter everybody, anybody who won't light, you manage yourself. it. Go, go, go buy your credit. And, 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 and this for me just work. I, I remember that day. There's, every house is metered. Mm. Every house is metered. So if you have credit units in your electricity, you have light. If you don't have, so we don't need to be going to court to go and ask that uh, don't collect reconnection fee because those want more money more money to them than uh, really having to supply um, the electricity that people could have access to. So for me, you know what I think Fashula did that in Nigeria some time ago and said if you don't have a prepared meter, don't pay Nepal B. But it didn't really work.
And that was the, that was when the influx of, um, of prepaid came at the point. Well, you know, it's, 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 intricately, are someone you said to influx? Me, yeah, yeah, like people wanted to not yeah, well, go it, against that. At, at a point in time, there was a government policy that every house should be metered from government coffers. Why that stopped, we don't know. That is for Nigeria. Then do we, why do government need to... It, when, why private citizens, uh, they have money. They want to buy meter. Why do we monopolize it? You know, I said it here yesterday. The simple formula for corruption. Monopoly. Monopoly. Plus discretion. Minus transparency. Minus accountability. Equal to corruption. Even the way you have said it is mind-boggling. So, so why can't we, anybody who wants to connect electricity, go to Alaba market and buy his own meter and put it in his own house? Must Nepal supply it? Exactly. Must this thing be given to an agency? You buy it, let Nepal come and connect you to it. It's as simple as that. Because people have money. Just I still have people within my neighborhood who, who want paid. meter. Some and have they say some meters have been, are not available. Some have even paid for the meter and yes. they don't have They can't yes. get it. So, so this is this is the issue with uh, distribution companies that they are not even investing money. Nobody is asking them now to invest. No, intricately, a Nepal president said to me that there are certain people that will never be prepared metered. Okay, hold on. Um, because are you, of are you, are you the amount of cash that is coming from such an organization or such a building or such an estate. That's criminal intent. Oh yes. So you, when you when you, you are stand, struggling you stand and fighting, in the court of law to repeat what you just said on polls, yes, on soup polls. No, <laughs> on to the next line. The court of public opinion. <laughs> yeah, very loudly too. Nation ready for new GMO crops. Now this was a specially handpicked one, and it it, it it made my heart um cry. Kenya is ready to roll out more genetically modified crops. Why are we still dealing with GMOs? There's that no, unhealthy. No, no, hold on, hold on. Now, for for GMOs, not most GMOs are healthy. It now depends on what exactly are you using it for. What exactly? How did you get to where you are going to? These are genetically modified crops. They could be modified for more yield. They mm -hmm. could be modified for to be to, to last longer. Modified against pests. Modified against drought. Modified to survive certain things. Now the issue, what the, the, does the, the modification the, entail? The issue is this, and it's all going to it's the not, human body, right? No, it's not difficult. Okay. Now this is where people, once people say genetics and things, they become scared. Yes, definitely some research will go bad, but this is where information and communication come to play. If a company is telling you that, okay. Um, this is where we are heading to, and we've not gotten there yet. Good and fine. Others will be able to verify their research and say, okay, this is okay. 60% of the cassava we have right now in Nigeria was not what we have before. A lot of this improvement was done right here in this are you, country. Are you accusing us of GMO? No, I'm not. No, no, no. These are all modified crops. We have better beans than we had before. But now people, when they see genetically modified, their minds go too far. Okay, improved it's just, it's seedlings. Just go far a bit. Yeah, no, don't go too, too far. far. Improved seedlings. Improved in what sense? Improved in cultivation. Improved in lasting better, better, how? better in drought. How? It's not difficult. It's science. That's why God I know said. It, but how? What are you adding to it? Is it good for the human consumption? Yes, it is. How? Those that are not good. That's why I said there should always be. So, there should always be another body to verify every research. Yeah, but you see, uh, uh, yeah, even those people who are advocated and promoted the GMOs, they prefer organic. Exactly. And my point. much more expensive. One of my now, points. Oh, oh, now, see, see where the issue is. There are crops that are genetically modified beyond what it should be. I don't know if you understand me. Now, okay, it's just like, I'm going to go here. Um, I want to call them testy, but. For a woman to go do IVF, there's absolutely nothing wrong in it. It's science. Science has told you, okay, you can get an egg fertilized, be outside 
the womb. Should, I, I, I beg to... I, no, no, I hold on. You know, it's, 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 it's two different processes. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. There are two different they processes. Don't, don't, don't. Time which I, is more I difficult. Not, it's not difficult. Yeah, which in is what is added. The thing is added to the baby. See, see, the baby this is, is aided good. to grow. Good. Now, but this one, things are added. Hold on, Nikena. We must know those things. It's the same thing. Now, if a, uh, if a seed has to get, uh, it's the same thing. It's fertilization, mind you. No. Yes, it is. If a if a seed has to um, get pollinated within a flower or outside a flower, it's still the same thing. Now, yeah, but during you, that pollination, see, what this, happened? This is this is the this is my worry. We can do all we do, and we can um, do all the fantasizing about uh, science in terms of helping humanity. But you see, the place of nature still stay where they are. And that's for me. The last time I traveled home, and I was talking to my mom, and they said to me, uh, and I said, oh, this uh, bitter leaf is quite uh, luxuriant. Great. Ah, I said to me, said, this one is not bitter leaf. <laughs> so I said, OK, because I was trying to just uh, squeeze some to drink. And it wasn't bitter at all. It's looking everything like Rich. a bitter leaf. In short, it's shots. more luxuriant if you see the leaves, they are as big. big as this. But what makes a bitter leaf is the bitter taste. The quinine in it. The, now that has been taken away from. So the effectiveness and the efficacy. It's not potent anymore. It's not, it's not rich. For that particular You one. know, there, there's some certain things. Growing up, you see, uh, Chooks. Grain of pass a little child. You see, there are some certain things we do with honey. With honey? Honey, yes. yes yeah. okay. So you get to see natural honey. Mm -hmm. Wild honey. Mm -hmm. That this one, they go out, Think. recruit the things they want, and then you have real honey. Now, the honey you have today, which is breeded, they are not as efficacious as those natural honey. We used to know. Your, your okay. genetically okay. modified oh, honey. Oh, 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 there is no genetically modified <laughs> <laughs> There is no genetically modified You just have one company so we're scamming people in the name of honey that is not honey. For those honey, for those bee farmers, mm. they keep bees. Those are different. Now they have to process it. At the end of the day, they'll, they'll give it to you. That is where the difference is. They process it. Unlike your natural honey that you go to the wild and harvest. Every single thing there, you still have your pollen in there. You still have um, part of your your bee, your bee stings. Everything is there. Are you an aspiring farmer? You said, am I what? An aspiring farmer. I just like to read. And so so it's, 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 it's not more like, um, it's just the processing that a lot of them do. That is the issue. Yeah, but you see, what I'm, what I'm emphasizing here is the fact that... Processing is... Uh, we, yeah, yeah uh, that processing thing. They don't, what when nature they gives broke, to don't you... Don't try to fix uh, it. They are, what they are, nature they are gives certainly you different, way, but way we have found ourselves in this place. We used to see our parents grow, and they are working hard. Yes. And sitting, they are very strong. That's what, that's what nature gives That death rate is high now. When people are 40 years now, they are, they they are already they are saying crooked. they are old people. Yes. So, uh, you are creeping. It's the way of life. No. It's the way of... No, it's people's way of life. We used to give up to 800. Okay, hold on. Our parents, you know, our parents... And have our, children at our, age 400. You know? Who? We used to. Who is the we? All your GMOs make us start to creak. <laughs> at age 40, you are creaking. As you are bending now, you are, you are squeaking like you a... Like you a can't bend anymore. Age. Yes. Because you are taking too much sugar. Tell the people uh, the truth. Limit on sugar. It's not is sugar. Is it true? GMO. Leave. Okay. Um, fast GM moving goods. Don't get angry. Leave sugar yeah, but alone. see, it is part of it. It is all this processing we are talking about. Sugar is good for you, by the way. Sugar, sugar is, is good for you. Sugar, sugar, sugar is, is good. It's too much sugar that's not good for you. Processed sugar is not good for you. It see, life is about balance. Right? There is no Across balance. Board. Mm, 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 mm. Do you know when do you God know, created Adam? What did God tell Adam? Said I've given you herbs and tree planting thing as your food and your medicine. He didn't tell you to go and boil the sugar cane and turn it into sugar. Uh -huh. You had all so, the sugar so you needed. So now you are incriminating yourself. Based I'm not incriminating GM, myself anything. You're not defending the no, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. Now, leave sugar alone. <laughs> yeah, but it's good that, uh, of course, uh, the case has been tried out in court. But yes, eventually, that's, that's a good thing. Uh, whatever you know, happens, those, course, things will win. those things are still there. The big uh, people who are... 
who are investing in those technology the manufacturers. You know, really yeah, the big farmers are there. Really they are making huge money out of okay, everybody, that's the sad, that's the and they are selling the technology. But they themselves, you know, they don't uh, uh, patronize the technology. They move to the suburbs where there are trees. Uh, they go to do their trees, organic, and then uh, they're having that honey firsthand. I think it, but that <laughs> they go to work in the city where all the all the uh, bad air and everything is there, and that selling us GM foods and they come back home and they eat natural. Hello, hello, please leave G GM is General Motors. Don't get them into this argument. GM foods. <laughs> I'm giving you a bill. <laughs> On to the next um, um, paper, Financial Times. We're looking at Asia here. Fintechs struggle to topple big UK banks. Is this even a thing? Like fintechs are, like the other day, was it yesterday we had um, the, the lady from the fintech. She, you know, she did really amazing. And well, I, I'm trying to picture someone like her going against, <laughs> like, a first bank or, okay, but like, uh, you know, the, where's, the, the, where's the, the, the battle? It's not a battle. It's not a battle. We, let's start looking, well, at, apart let's from start looking at Let's start looking at the future. Entrepreneurs. Let's start looking at the future. If the big banks don't evolve, mm. remember there used to be a company called Kodak. Oh, yes. Remember there used to be a company called Nokia. Mm. If the big banks, the very big banks we know of today, if they don't evolve, what happened to Kodak is going to happen to them. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. Yeah, yeah. But you see, I, I think uh, the way regulatory is, uh, regulation is also going, that uh, there's even a secular uh, order from CBN that every big bank must own a fintech. Mm. It's mandatory as we speak. So the investment in that space is also... Sounds like CBN case. Yes, it's, it's also... also so it's not like case. They have also. seen the future. Yeah, there's a whole lot. And the last you know, thing... You after that uh, show two days ago, I saw uh, on the paper over 282 apps, loan apps in Nigeria. <laughs> <laughs> Some have run away. Some are no. unofficial, many. So there's even 282. more than that. I read it, uh, I think it was uh, in the initial newspaper. I said, wow. There are this many. Hmm. I didn't even know they are loan up. There's because one. There's one particularly that's causing mayhem across the country. If you look at their app, you won't find it. But those that already have downloaded it are in trouble. They're using it. You default a day. They send messages to all your family members and okay. accuse you of being a, a thief and a kidnapper, and that people shouldn't do business with you. Why are we allowing such a thing happen? The, you know, because the Bible says uh, the borrower is a slave to the lender. So, <laughs> but, but, but Doc, you know we can't do without borrowing. We can borrow to invest. We can borrow to divest what we already have. Well, we can borrow to scale up. Mm. There's always a bit borrowing. So yeah. What you do with it. Mm. Yeah, so, and that's why slavery continues. The CBN came out um, some time ago and tried cleaning up that sector. Um, they are Many still, of them ducked down and escaped. Yeah, they, they, they went they under still, the grass and they were, they're still there. They are, the CBN is also still there, and I know they'll do more. They will. Yeah, but I, I think uh, by and large, it's also to see how do we actually promote integrity uh, in our space so that people can um, naturally uh, learn to honor obligations. That's also very fundamental. Because I also know of certain people uh, who... They will borrow from this app, change their phone number, go and borrow from the other app, change their phone number, go and borrow from this app. And they are borrowing everywhere and with, with no intention to pay because those they see it as uh, uh, like no free house. money. So, so those kind of behaviors are also not very good in an environment where we are promoting uh, that there should be inclusiveness, uh, people should invest so that everybody could have access to cash and have uh, some meaningful life. But when you find that uh, the rate of uh, default is... No, but Doc, you see, before it gets to massive. us looking at defaulters, when you haven't done your due diligence, right, to be able to know where these persons live, have their actual number is verified. Yeah, but that they, they, this thing is them. done for so inclusiveness happens, you know and for find access. Them. You know how another, to find them. A, another no, thing, no, no. Another it's thing. done for inclusiveness and for access. Okay. So what is expected? And I think the real big corporate here is NCC, Nigerian Communication Co Corporation, that has failed in its duty to regulate uh, telcos in Nigeria. 
that is a and major ensure problem. that people are not buying sin and reselling the sins. That, that's even that's, when we are talking about registration sin happening, I still go to some places and they are selling skin, sims. Yes. So this is a big problem. Yes. Because in this industry, if your telephone is attached to you, it's easier for those due diligence. Correct. See, you use true color and see somebody calling you. Is it Kenan's number? All you are seeing is uh, Madame Musa. Hmm. Because that's the name that registered the scene. Yes, yes. So that cleanup need to happen in the telcos. Because we still have people who have SIMs, but not registered by them, and the SIMs are not tied to, to them. them. To them, correct. Everywhere in the world, when people are registering SIM, they take your data page and yep. sync your ID number to your SIM so that wherever you are, if you change location, you will are traceable. Even with the number, this is why I keep saying that if, if, for example, our country in Nigeria here must make progress, we must invest in identification scheme. Data. Where every single Nigeria, old, young, newborn, are registered yeah. so that we can connect people with their ID. So if I know that this ID has borrowed in another app, we will not be able to use it to borrow in another app place. So this makes it easier. Uh, for uh, regulation. But situation where somebody, uh, you say, okay, provide your uh, uh, profile. They give you all the wrong details about them. I How know, do you go and trace them? It's not very far. The only way to trace them is to start to pump those messages to everybody on their contract. And then, of course, who know him will say, ah, okay, you don't borrow money. And so <laughs> they find a way to recoup their... Well, well, you know, you know what's even crazy? What's even crazier? That, that single... <laughs> single-handed um, action doesn't bring the money many of the times. It doesn't bring the money. You have sent um, an incriminating message that the thieves, that they've done this, that kidnappers don't trust them, don't do business with them. The person decides not to pay you back. Many times that has happened. Now, on the other side, we have noticed that many people that are registering these things are not actually registering these things. Yeah, but you see, what this does is that even if they are not uh, getting the fund back, because some but of those that numbers. person has succeeded in destroying his integrity. Because I, I, there was a, a young man, I said to him, and I said to him, they sent a message to me that you borrowed money. Why didn't you repay it? Uh, and I said, you go and pay back what you Because this has dented your image. You can't come to me now and ask me for uh, assistance. I won't give to you because you are dubious. So what that does is that it also puts like a... Uh, a caveat on them and say, buyer beware. No. This man is, is a thief. But so sir, if you do it to one app, you won't go and do it to somebody but else. Sir, on the flip side, that is the wrong thing to do. It's just that we, many times we, we can't upload the law here. It's a wrong thing to do. Yeah, people talk about privacy. How, how can you be private in another person's domain? How? How much you have been doing the office? You, you, you come to my house, mm -hmm. you want to be private. If you want to be private, don't take loan now. If you, you see, these are the issues. If you want to be private, you don't want people to drag you on the street and stay in your house. No, but don't that, go and borrow. But that stuff like this cannot happen in a Western um, developed society. You see, it's, you know it's, this it's, it's, not, it's not happening. Because there's libel cases, no, there's, there's all that no, stuff. No, 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 no. You see, because even the default cases. And many, this, many times, these default cases, sir, 30K. 20k. Yeah, even if it's 1k. I'm just saying. Many even times, if it's 1k. And you damage someone's. Uh, yeah. Because they have defaulted for one day. You see, because it's not just default, it's the intention. No, we don't know that. We don't know the intent because that's it's the person's intention. Action. But based on the action, okay, my money's didn't come in today. It's going to come in Wednesday. And I'll pay you on Wednesday. It's also intent. But you have said that since I didn't pay on this day, then you are going to make the whole world down. You, 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 when I'm not a you, you know, You know what happens. And this, because I have also seen some few cases in this matter. Some of them, they have thrown their telephone line away. Oh, yes. Chew up the scene. I know. Yes. Some of them, they have blocked you off completely. So you don't have access. I don't think they start with publishing. The first thing is to even notify the person that, look, this thing is due. 
And so if they notify you and then you don't want to receive the message and you are hiding. You see, it is easier to face your fear than to run away from it. True. And I think this for me <laughs> is where I'm advocating for national integrity uh, crusade. Where people can be able to come out to say and own up and take responsibility for an act. Yes, I'm owing you. I don't have the money now. Please give me up to one month, two months, three months. Mm. Because if you are going to borrow, you're also thinking that you are Just borrowing and trusting God that you are able to pay. So this for me is what it is. And this in other claim, what they are doing is they tie it to your place of work and your salary so that at the end of the month, the deduction just happens seamlessly. Automatically. Because yes. you have given mandate to say, okay, if I bought this thing from you on credit, on uh, I'm going to be paying S, Y, Z amount of money on a monthly basis and this go. If I borrow this S amount, take it away from my salary, S, Y, Z. So I even have seen a case of somebody who took facility and changed his son name to go and register in another bank. How much are we talking about here? It's just what I think it was a million naira or so. <laughs> okay. Okay, so on that note, we've come to the tail end of another interesting edition of Souk Business Landscape. Join us always Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, 7 a.m. with my amazing auntie, usualist, analyst. Thank you, Dr. Dawosa, for being here. Thank you, Chuk Rogers. My name is Ikena Mba. See you next time. <laughs>